G'day and welcome back and we are continuing our go big or go home series all right so we are now on day two of summer we have skipped into spring and skipped our first day of summer we did do a little bit of grass work off camera um, just to make sure we had enough bales uh, ready to go for our sheep um, but now we're going to get back into uh, looking after our fields and doing everything we need to do now bring up the mini map as you can see i have grass enabled so we can see that Almost all of our grass, uh, except for this field 49, which was a late transition uh, from wheat, I think it was, back to grass, um, are ready for harvest. So we are going to start harvesting some grass. We're going to harvest grass initially, get some hay bales, um, store up the hay bales. Until, when we've got the bale storage full of hay bales, we will then just use the grass to start creating silage. And then after we've got enough... Uh, enough uh, components for our um, TMR, we will look at bringing in some cows. So first step is to head on over to field 42. We're going to take over the big M. We're going to take over one of the tractors with a tether and a baler. And then we're going to have to take over a, uh, well, we've got a new trailer we're using uh, to deal with our bales. Um, we're not using the flegels and we're not going to use the big road train um, for collecting off the field. So we'll have a look at that as well. All right, so let's get into it. Let's go get all our equipment and get it all ready to go. So first we have to go off and find our big M. Now I know exactly where the big M is. It's currently on a flatbed trailer. Now this trailer we're using, uh, and we've got this, this case here we're gonna use. Um, actually can be used as a transport trailer and also as a bale trailer or a trailer for anything else. Um, and we just test it out. It's probably not the best textures or anything like that, but it works, it's uh, quite functional, um, and uh, I think it's a little bit better for getting all the bales off the field instead of driving the semi-trailer around with um, the road train. So here it is here, it's a razor, or something along those lines. Uh, we'll, we'll click the big M. So by doing it this way, we can get both the big M and the trailer with the tractor over there in one load. Um, obviously we could do it and follow me as well, but uh, this sort of, uh, well, I suppose in a way it could be, be said to be a little bit more realistic, but then again, um, it'd be no surprise seeing big M's driving down the road when they've got to get down to in between fields and stuff, so that's not a problem either. So we'll bring this guy over first. <clears throat> so 42 is probably the next biggest field we've got for grass, other than that uh, other field that's not quite ready yet. Um, and these two fields at the farm that we've, uh, as you can see as we drive past, we've mown them and harvested those. We've got the bales in the bale storage shed. So um, that's all been done. And we did that just basically, like I said, we need to get some stock up for the for the, for the sheep. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, but we should be okay now. And then, because once we start uh, harvesting... We don't want to have to spend any more time going off and getting any grass or anything else for the sheep and that we want to be able to just concentrate exactly on what the job at hand is. So I'll make sure I've gone in the right I have. Okay. Alright, so here we go. Okay. So I'll pop out. Now to come to offload. We are going to need to lower the trailer and uh, unlock it. Now hopefully, if I press the right button, we should be able to drive the big M off the trailer now. Now the um, the trailer is also it has an auto load function, so we can actually auto load our bales, which is uh, great for us. All right, we're going to head back on over to the farm, and we're going to find where our other equipment is. Um, no, it's not up there. So I do have to bring the semi trailer back though, because the semi trailer is over here with all the the flatbeds. So once we have actually finished over here, I've got to get that back over here. Um, we're just going to go over here. And I need to find our baler, which is there. I also need to find our tether. I don't know where we put the tether. 
It's over here somewhere, I think, or it might be over the pigs. Or it could be in this little shed near the bar, um, near the house, which it is. All right, so that's what we need. So, um, oh, and we're going to need the windrow. So we're going to need three more tractors. We're going to need plenty of staff to come and help us. All right, so let's uh, get the tether. What we are going to do is we're going to do this on follow me. We're going to get it done nice and quick, um, just for this field, um, just basically to uh, to showcase getting the work done, um, and then some of the other stuff will probably be done off camera because, like we've said before, uh, we don't want to do everything on camera. Otherwise, this series will take years just to get through all the harvest because there's going to be a lot of work. Oh, I see, the maintenance does he? No, why isn't that starting? Alright, I don't know what was going on there. <coughs> Definitely doesn't need maintenance, so that's okay. Put him on follow me. Alright, now we need to go find one of our other tractors. So, put should be one of the John Deere's in here. Which there is. And we'll grab the trailer. The, sorry, grab the baler. And then uh, we'll take these three over and then we can get started. So we hope everyone is doing really well. And uh, and everyone is fine and healthy. We've had some very good news from our good friend Aussie Medic. Uh, Mrs. Aussie Medic is, is nicely on the mend four days after surgery. Um, which is wonderful to hear. So uh, we wish them all the best in their continuing battle to fight... The uh, to fight the battle of getting back and healthy again after such big surgery, but um, I'm sure they're going to uh, win that fight with some ease. All right. Right now we don't want. such a big offset so we certainly don't need a 21 meter offset to the left bring that back in there we go all right so now we can just take these guys over and then we can get started so we've got andy and elizabeth following along What we're going to do is we're going to put the. Um, I'm going to have to think about this. We're going to, have to put the. Uh, Let me have a look. I need to check what the width is of our windrower. Twelve and a half. That'll work. No, it's all good. So disregard what I was going to say. All right. What we're going to do. Is we are going to manually drive the BM. Let's get him in position here. We're going to do a wide swath. So we've opened him up for that. Next, we need to get the this guy in place. <clears throat> 20 behind is fine. We're going to open that up. While it's opening, we're going to get this guy ready. Unfold. While he's unfolding, we'll get the baler ready. It's already ready. Turned on. I would write he's good to go. Now, oops, get caught up on the tree. I'll turn him on. 
Now, hopefully, um, why is that not so? I didn't actually get in, that helps. Um, all right. <clears throat> So I'm hoping the wits will work out okay. All right. Still don't like that tractor locking up when you jump out of it. But anyway, nothing we can do about it. All right, so now we should be on... Yes, we are. We're on wide. And off we go. Now, just going to make sure that everything sort of lines up behind us and does the right thing. Drawer follows up next. And I think we're perfectly okay with all our widths. I think so. Um, we're good to go. All right. So <clears throat> off with the big M. Now we're going to go extend past where the actual field is. There's all this area over here we can also do, which is off the actual field. So we'll uh, we'll collect that. It'll be a bit rough, but. Um, those extra few bales might come in handy one day. So we'll, uh, we'll maximise our, uh, our mowing here as we would normally do. Obviously we did a little bit of a stuff up there with one of our, uh, one of our staff was running course play and uh, he decided to go past where the field itself was. There we go, we can see it's being tattered, windrowed, and then being bailed all in one go. Now we could also have the other guy running around with the trailer and collecting the bales, but I'm not going to bother. <clears throat> we'll do that. We'll do that after the fact. Now I just need to be setting a speed. That is in line with all the other equipment at its maximum speed. So if we set it 19 kilometers an hour for the big M, we won't lose anyone. So I'll just slow down so we can get everyone to catch up. This is see behind he's behind 20, that's fine. We'll bring it back to 15. Alright. Well, as we're uh, heading off all over the place. Back over here. We're really looking forward. Can't wait to get our hands on the new big M in Farming Simulator 19, the 450M. Um, as I've said before, that's going to be the first thing we do when we get Farming Simulator 19. Um, it should be some good fun, so really looking forward to that. But, uh, yeah, we're certainly not far away. We're getting closer and closer as each day goes by, obviously. And um, I don't think there's many people that won't be looking forward to, to, to looking at Farming Simulator 19 and playing it. Um, there's obviously going to be a plethora of... Uh, YouTube is that out there covering Farming Simulator 19 um, but I certainly hope that uh, you will come and check out our gameplay um, in uh, what's the name So this field should uh, fill up probably at least half of our bales in the bale storage, I would imagine. Um, so it'll certainly give us a good kickstart to make sure we've got enough hay. Uh, and then uh, 
we should block shouldn't have to do any more I think most of the grass we can pick up from here on in we can utilize just purely for creating silage uh, that silage can be used either for the cows or just for, for purely for, for sales and making some money so um, yeah we'll just see how that progresses <clears throat> We're not particularly um, in dire need of any cash at the moment, so um, that's not so much of an issue for us. But um, that may well change. But considering we're going to be coming into harvest very soon, um, we should be able to make a fair bit of money from our crops uh, if we sell them off. So um, yeah, we should we should be doing okay. All right. Now this is the tricky area to make sure we don't all collide. So we increase speeding now, we've all caught up. As I've always said, there's always something relaxing about just mowing the grass. I mean, harvesting the fields and all that, that's okay as well, but I, I just always found um, that uh, mowing the grass in this game has been one of the more relaxing and more enjoyable aspects of the game. That's, that's me personally. Um, you may feel differently, um, but yeah, so I mean, we do we do enjoy getting out and doing a bit of mowing of the lawns or mowing of the grass. Certainly a big lawn, isn't it? of a roundabout there. Things seem to be working okay. Now we'll have to go around and deal with this uh, this little island area here. So what we're going to do, otherwise we're going to come into a problem on the other side where uh, we've got the bales and we just cut through the second row. We will just uh, see if we can make a total mess of it by doing that. Let's see. No, we lucked in. That's all right. We lucked in just the right time. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, I the others get through. No, we've stuffed this up. Come on, out, out. Let's see if we got through there. Got a feeling we're going to um, to stop and collect some of the other equipment behind us, I oh, know, maybe not. No, we've got them all through. There you go. That's a bit of a surprise. That could have been a disaster. I know everyone's sitting there laughing. Leave that 
the little patch through there, that's okay. All in all, I think we can live with that. Now, I mean, again, we could have quite easily just put this on course play and had course play organise this. We could have also had all the other tractors behind, running behind the, the big M running course play, course, play course. Um, but I figured for this episode, we'll just do a bit of the manual and you can see me stuff up like I just did then um, and, and go through that sort of process. very handy though to have um, obviously your tether and your wind at the same width as your big M and then uh, you don't have any problems with either uh, having to undercut or overcut um, in any any way in relation to um, in relation to how you're you're doing your runs um, so that is that is very handy as we come down here not ideal but this is what we'll do to get around bail out of the way he got one right in front of us so take him on a bit of a journey again we're gonna have to leave a bit of a uh, bit of a gap there a bit of, bit of grass untouched I mean, this is obviously the difficulty you have when you do do this sort of um, operation in the fact that you have got your bales left behind and it does then start impeding your ability to uh, to turn and all that sort of stuff without um, collecting bales and as you would have no doubt seen previously whether it be yourself or watching other youtubers sometimes those bales can be a right raw pain when you get caught up on them and you, you get stuck on them and all that sort of stuff so it's um, something you need to carefully consider and manage um, we certainly don't do so much of the carefully considering and managing we just tend to have to manage after we've stuffed something up so yeah you just have to be aware of that <clears throat> what we'll do is we're at uh, 23 minutes now we'll actually finish um, the cutting of this field in this episode we'll make it a little bit longer episode just to what we would normally try and do um, just for the, the sake of completeness We've only got a couple of runs to do. It won't take us that long. But uh, but thank you for joining us here. I'll do all the sign-offs and that. Um, don't forget to join and check out Simulation Gaming Society. It's the group that was formed by Grizzly Bear Sims, Eustace Farmer and myself. Um, it's uh, where everyone can come together and chat and meet and all that sort of stuff. Um, with all your basic gaming. It's not just Farming Simulator 17, it's not just simulator games, it's, it's basically anything and whatever. Um, obviously the primary reason we all got together was from Farming Simulator, but uh, we're happy to talk and chat about everything and share other gaming experiences, all that sort of stuff. So uh, so come on over there and join us. Um, also don't forget to check out obviously Eustace Farmers and Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channels. Um, always good for a laugh. Uh, two of the best uh, role-playing type um, YouTube personalities for Farming Simulator 17 that, that are out there um, and you won't miss it you won't regret it I mean not miss it um, as we've just stuffed that up with that bale see the bale can stuff things up occasionally um, yeah so go check them out also don't forget to check out all my other friends that are listed down below in the comments um, all of them put out some, some wonderful content, so go check them out, give them a like and a subscribe and all that sort of stuff. Um, please also don't forget to like or dislike uh, this, this YouTube. Now our phantom disliker who dislikes every video will be here. He will put a dislike up just for the sake of it, I'm sure. Um, one day we'll find out who it is. Not that it really matters. Um, but also please consider subscribing to the channel so you can see more bizarre work on big M's and stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, please consider subscribing. 
And like I say, we will be continuing on through to Farming Simulator 19. We have some copies of Farming Simulator 19 to give away very, very soon. In fact, this week I should be finalising the competition details and getting those up and running. Plus there is also the current competition which is running in my Discord channel in relation to another copy of Farming Simulator 19, so go check that out as well. So in total, well, I think we're giving away three or four copies of Farming Simulator 19, so, um, so yeah. Keep in touch with us, keep with us. Tell your friends, tell your family. We are a G-rated uh, a G-rated uh, YouTube channel, so you won't hear any uh, excessive vulgarities or anything else. You will see a bit of Australian speak, um, but certainly there will be no a vulgar uh, language or anything else expressed in this channel. Uh, and that includes also on the chat and also in our Discord channel. So uh, we keep it clean because my, uh, my son watches this channel and, and interacts on in the channel that, that people don't know of his identity. Um, but uh, if he's going to be there, I'm going to make sure that he's got a safe environment as well. Um, so therefore you can rest assured that uh, if my son's in this channel, watching this channel and, and part of our community, then rest assured that uh, your young ones can be as well. All right. Now, as we said before, we get the tricky point now of having to manage cutting in and around these bales. So we'll see what happens here. Depends on where this baler drops its last couple of bales on that line there. And knowing my luck, he's going to drop it right in front of where we want to go. That's not too bad. We can finish this off. It hasn't been too bad. All right. So that's it. So we're going to finish off this run here, up and down. That'll be it. We've left a little bit of a mess on the field, but that's okay. Let's see if we can get rid of this bar so it doesn't block us on the last bit of the run. So you've been watching Ducks All Gaming on Lone Oak Farm on our Go Big or Go Home series. Please continue to watch and come back, as we've said before. Um, we will be continuing the FS17 series even past the release of FS19. So... Uh, do continue to come back and uh, and watch the channel and also like we said please don't forget to issue a like and a subscribe thanks very much for watching we'll see you again very very soon here at ducks Oli gaming and lone oak farm see you all later bye